Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today, and today I have the Barbie Extra car. And it is very cool. It is a glittery silver. It's got pink interior. It's got fluffy pink headrest. It's got some rainbow rims, and it seats too. But the nice part about this is it actually has a working trunk. But, and it has Lambo doors, which I think is kind of awesome. So let's take a look at the back of the box. It shows you a little more of the features. So again, we do get a two-seater. Uh, the doors do come up. It's got seat belts and a little like back seat. The front is actually where the trunk is. And it does come with a shirt, a hanger, a pair of sunglasses, a pair of heels, a little chihuahua, and a uh, little float for him, as you can see him over here. And so we're gonna take these out here in just a sec and uh, get everything a closer look. This is uh, $30, so $29.99 when I picked it up at Walmart the other day. Uh, it's very cute. I don't normally buy uh, I don't normally buy Barbie cars at full price because they are really pretty quick to go on sale. Um, but I wanted to get a review out for this for you guys. And so we're gonna try to get this out in as little stress as possible. Hopefully it comes out easily. That's the goal with Barbie cars. Okay, so there it is outside of the box. As you can see, the other stuff a little bit easier back here. Um, I'm going to take... Oh, those are taped into the box, of course. So we've got that one, and then I'm going to take that one and this one off. So here is our top. It's just a, uh, it is a rainbow tank top, which I do kind of love that. Um, So here is what our rainbow tank top looks like. It's very basic. And we've got some blue little uh, strappy heels, which are, uh, I think a new mold. I don't remember seeing a mold like this so far. If I'm wrong, correct me. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take these out. And they have an odd way of securing cars with Mattel. Is they have these little keys that fit into them in the bottom of the box. Which is kind of a cool concept, but also like, huh. Because you could spend a while trying to get it out from the top and not figure out what you're doing wrong. Because I have done that before. And so that's how that comes out. And then we just lift it out like this. And it's got a little rainbow track underneath, which is kind of fun. And then we don't want to forget our, uh, our mirrors right here, which do not come assembled. So we've got a Take this out right here and pop them in. Like this one right there. And then we've got another one that can go into that. And another one that goes that one. This one did 
not slide in correctly as I was trying to put it on. Okay, there's that. And so that's how that looks. And then we've got our, um, our little Barbie cutout, which actually has legs, that's weird. So it's a full like Barbie cutout. Uh, and so that's how that goes on. There's a little tape on the inside of that door. That's why that wasn't coming up right. Um, and then that's how that one goes in. Again, there's some more tape on the inside of that door as well. Um, now they don't go up very far like full Lambo doors would, but it's still, you know, it's a cool concept, especially since they're done as wings. And then here is what the inside of the car looks like. We do actually have a pretty good um, GPS system. Barbie Extra is on the wheel. Uh, the nice thing about these is it's not just a standard Barbie car that was given a paint job. It is a... Uh, is a new thing. I'm not terribly pleased with all of the tape that they put on it, but that's just a me thing because I don't like when they put tape onto toys that make it harder to get in and out. So our little chihuahua already ran away. <laughs> so this is actually probably the most tame of the Barbie pets but he does have some sunglasses to go on to fit on his face because these are not Barbie sunglasses. These are dog sunglasses. So the dog has accessories. So that is how the dog would sit in his little floaty because he's a dog. I don't know if he needs a floaty, but his cool little like swan thing. That's probably about Kelly size. Um, and this is like a little pool in the back. And I do wish this had like a cover. So that way you could just like not acknowledge that part. But that's what it looks like. Here's the front. So there is a lot of grills. There's a uh, another piece of tape holding on to keep this closed. So that way we can put things in there. And so we can put our shoes in there. We can put, maybe put the actual thing in there? No. Close, but no so far. Let's see. Getting closer. No. This won't close under there. The dog will close almost. If you put him sideways, he'll really close. but we won't put the dog in the trunk. <laughs> so that's how he looks. He's, I think, my favorite of the extra pets. Um, but it does have this feature where you've got the hanger right in there, which is kind of cool. Um, so it is kind of cool with all of this. Uh, I would prefer if it made some noise, but look, they've even got windshield wipers molded onto the uh, windshield. And these are the little rainbow uh, wheels. Very cool. I do love these, uh, these doors. To me, they are kind of the most unique part about this. So let's see, we'll put, we'll put her in there. Barbie can have the uh, driver's seat. And again, we have our little seat belts that are pretty standard on all uh, the Barbie cars now. There we go. She was stuck on something in there.
and then you just click it back into the thing. Okay, shoot, is there something under there? No? Hmm. Weird. I don't know what her feet are getting stuck on. Uh, it could just be that her feet are too, um, too far apart and they're getting stuck on something back there. There we go. So that's how that would fit in, like that. So where she is hanging out right there. Uh, and then there's room for another friend. And you can zoom away, even though she's not. <laughs> this is apparently a self-driving car because I didn't put her arms outside of the seatbelt. There we go. There we go, like that. So she's ready to go downtown right now. Uh, and then we would put the little like doggy in the back because it's got a it's got a pool in this Lambo. Uh, but yeah, she's very cute. Uh, the paint on it is not smooth. It does very much have a grit to it because it is done in glitter paint. Uh, the glitter's not coming off on my fingers, though, so that's nice. Um, and then again, let me give it a little uh, side view this way. A little 360 for y'all. Uh, here's what the back looks like. There's some stars and a license plate. Um, it is kind of cool. Um, it doesn't roll real well. Of course, I'm on... Uh, I want a really smooth tabletop, so that could just be why. But he's still, it's still a very cool car. Uh, again, $29.99 at Walmart where I got it. Uh, there's a lot going on with it. I do kind of wish this was one that came with a doll. I would have rather have seen the exclusive doll from the five pack included in the car instead of a paper insert of a doll, especially since they gave us a pet, of all things. Uh, but yeah, so, but she's still very cute in the car. Uh, the car is ready to go. Uh, this will probably replace one of the cars that I have in my uh, Barbie houses, just because it's actually unique. Uh, let me show you guys how Ken would fit in here. Let me show you. so we got her out and see what I mean is her hair really gets in the way of her um, her hairspray hair gets in the way of the rest of her hair um, but that's life right okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our new looks Ken and he is gonna go right in here now he's made to move, so he shouldn't have any problem with getting his uh, feet through there. But I've thought that before. So, here's how he would look. In there he's got his arm out on the windshield it is a little tight for Ken's um, but he still fits he's still in the seat uh, I don't think a regular body Ken would fit in here um, but he looks cool in this car too uh, and I do have a whole house of uh, Ken's so maybe this will be their car. I don't know. But it could just be his big boots were getting in the way of getting him fully all the way down. Um, but the car is very cute. I am here for it. Uh, I do kind of wish they'd given us at least a full outfit 
to go with this. Like I would have loved to have seen a, uh, a dress instead of a, uh, instead of a tank top, but it's still cute. And honestly, I'm kind of tempted to replace her uh, black tank top with this tank top, but again, horizontal stripes, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, so, but the nice thing is you can just take this uh, and replace it with whatever you want to put in there, you know. This could be a Barbie spy car, and she's got an evening gown in there just in case she's got to seduce James Bond, I don't know. Uh, but it's very cute. It's like, there's a lot going on with it, but it's also, it's well put together. I don't see any obvious uh, defects or anything. Uh, I think these are just, they slide over it, over the headpiece, which is a little bit of a weird decision to make, but a lot of things have been weird decisions for Barbie Extra. Uh, I wouldn't include the, uh, the dog. So that's the car. That's the Barbie Extra car. Uh, I'm probably gonna get the Barbie Extra Studio, or like Fashion Studio, whatever it's called, um, after Christmas, when it goes on sale probably, because it's on sale right now for 50, but I still wanna pay about 40 for it, because it's, it's got a unique doll and a lot of accessories, but it's a lot of Barbie Extra accessories, so a lot of it's not great. Um, but, and that's not saying it's not great quality, it's just not great taste really, in my opinion, but also, also my opinion. That's how that works. Um, so, if you guys think this is worth it, these should be hitting your local Walmart soon. They should have been out a couple of months ago, but with the shipping problems the U.S. has been having because of the pandemic, uh, we did have, you know, a lot of things that were delayed. So, this is what it looks like. That's what you get with it. Uh, the majority of what you get extra is just the dog with his little, uh, with his little uh, ducky floaty or swan floaty and his sunglasses. Uh, but you do get a, uh, a shirt and some heels, which is nice. Uh, not necessary, but still nice. So that's where you're at uh, for 30 bucks. So if you have any questions on it, let me know in the comments. Um, I may do kind of a photo thing with them. I may throw a, a sexy Ken calendar on Instagram. I haven't decided. Just perch them up on the hood or whatever. Uh, but we'll see. So <laughs> if you haven't followed me on Instagram, it is the same handle as here on uh, YouTube. Uh, so follow me there for other Instagram things that I just don't post on YouTube because they're just pictures. Uh, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you liked it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for more. Bye, y'all. Be good.